Right, everybody, welcome to our next set of drive time video call interviews. And I'm delighted to be with a very good friend of mine, Alexander Rhodes. Alexander, welcome. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? You're right. Yeah, I'm well, I'm very well. I'm very well. Um, how have you been keeping? Yeah, yeah, not too bad. These these video calls are, are great because I get to speak to plenty of people like yourself, you know, involved in motorsports, keeping the, the motorsport juices going, shall we say. So, <laughs> and it looks like, Alexander, behind you, you've got some sort of rig set up. So I imagine you're doing a bit of sim racing at the minute. Is that right? Yeah, getting involved as much as I can. Um, there's a few guys from my series, Howard Hill Climb, that um, are all competing against each other for lap times, various cars, circuits, that sort of thing. So it's nice to be involved in a time attack sense but then I like to get wheel to wheel as well and yeah there's some fantastic racing going on at the moment with a lot of the drivers out there uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to getting more done with them definitely definitely in fact you've almost uh, sort of covered my next question I ask this to everybody because I know but not everybody does know what is it you do in motorsport now you just mentioned hill climbing there so, so let's elaborate on that shall we yeah so Harewood hill climb um it's the longest hill climb in the UK uh well Brilliant. in mainland UK that is um, yeah, it's been going for many, many years. I think 62 was the first race there. Um, so it's got a very long history. It's been extended a few times. Um, and yeah, the competition there is incredibly tight and difficult. But oh, I bet. it's one of these series where it's open to everybody. If you've got a road yeah. car, it doesn't need to have every safety modification going, which means you can buy a car specifically for racing and race it on a very low budget. Now, that's great because it brings people into the sport. It keeps yeah. that youth of the sport going. And at the end of the day, whether you're racing on a 500 quid scrap car or you've got a 25,000 pound race car, we're in the same class. We're racing against each other. And it's yeah. really, really nice when you're up there against the guys that are spending the big bucks, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. And then at the end of the day, you're timed against yourself. So if you're putting a lap down and then you think, okay, well, I can go faster here, there and everywhere, you don't get to compare against what everybody else has done because everybody else is in a different vehicle. Yeah. You've got yourself to compare against. And I think that is one of the best ways to improve as a driver with car control, position on track, that kind of thing. Actually, that leads nicely into this question. Is there a different set of skills required for sort of hill climb racing than, say, standard circuit racing? Yeah, absolutely. With circuit racing, wheel to wheel, you know, there's opportunity for a lot of relaxation. You can take a moment if you've got a gap before someone else is behind you. You know, you can take a minute, just sit within the boundary. You don't have to put everything out on the edge. Hill climb doesn't give you that opportunity. Um, I mean, even in rallying, you've got an opportunity to take it easy in some sections, which are more difficult than others, just to ensure you get around yeah hill climb it's a one minute lap you know you've got a very short number of corners you've got a very yeah. short track you have to be on the limit from the moment you set off to the moment you cross that finish line there's no relaxation there's no taking it easy there's no taking an extra inch just to make sure you get around there safe you go all out or you don't bother at all i suppose it's almost a bit like the um trying to compare the 100 metres in the Olympics to the 5,000 metres, isn't it, really? So, exactly. It's like slightly exactly different. Yeah, I mean, this, this is the point. This is why it's a sprint championship. It's not an endurance yeah. championship. I love endurance racing. Don't get me wrong. That's one of my things. But, yeah, it's very, very different. And it is. It's the 100 metres of motorsport. So what's your motor then at the minute? What, what, what are you hoping to be racing this year? Well, this year it would have been the MX-5. Um, it was a scrap car that I bought to learn how to weld on, and then I decided, you know what, it's got potential, I'll race it. So it's yeah. a, a 91 Mark One MX-5, uh, 1.6 litre engine. But the um, the idea behind it was just to fix it and just to practice my skills. And yeah, for a 1.6 litre engine, I mean, it's not slow compared to the 1.8s and the, the 2 litres, so... We'll see what it does um, if we ever get out there this year. We will. We will. I know we will. Right. I'm confident. <laughs> so, Alexander, let's say this then. We've got, um, you're taking me to a hill climb event, okay? And I've got, a, I've got a lorry behind me. And I say to you, in that lorry, you tell me what car you want to take up this hill. 
and it's in there. Any car in the world. What's your dream car to go hill climb racing in? To be fair, um, pretty much straight off the bat, 1971 Nissan GTR. Um, Ooh, that's a car nice. that's had my attention for a very long time in many different ways, not just as a race vehicle, but also as a show vehicle as well. Um, absolutely gorgeous, very, very simple under the skin, yet at the time it won absolutely everything that Mazda didn't win. Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet. Blimey, blimey. I, I like the fact that you know that straight off the bat. I've asked that question to a number of people, and they're like, oh, there's so many, there's so many. And, you know, there's no right or wrong answer, is there? It's, it's perfect. It's it's for yeah. you, really. <laughs> there's so many good cars out there. I mean, you think, like, the Ferrari F40, that's a magical car. You've got oh, a Mazda yeah. 787B. I mean, how fantastic of a machine was that? But out of all of them, yeah, the, the Nissan GTR from 1971, that is the one that I'd most like to take up a hill or even just for a spin around the roads. So during your racing career then, Alexander, we, we want to hear a funny story now. Have you had an embarrassing moment or two? <laughs> this one is a bit difficult because I haven't really had embarrassing moments as such. Um, but there is one that jumps out back from when I was endurance racing. So I was up. Oh, 24-hour kart race in Le Mans. Oh, nice, um, nice. And of course, at Le Mans, you're awake for odd hours of the day. It's a very enduring event. Um, and I was asleep on a couple of chairs, as you do. You know, you lay back on one, feet up on another. Um, <laughs> 10 o'clock in the morning, I fell off. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I could see where this is going. Where Was anybody else around? Oh, yeah, everybody was up. Everybody was waiting. <laughs> Driver changes. No, nobody had the phones day. out. <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad it wasn't recorded. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. Shame, shame. I have to try and dig that one out. I have to try and dig that one out. So look, uh, Alexander, I also ask um, everybody this as well. Is there anybody you want to give a particular shout out to? So for your racing, for example, is it are you a one man band? Do you have a team behind you? Do you have any sponsors? There are a, a few people I'd need to give a shit shout out to. So there is current girlfriend. She's yeah. been with me for a good number of years now. Um, she's the reason that I've stepped up from carts into cars um, start doing Harewood. so I've got to give a massive thank you and everything to her without her I probably wouldn't be doing what I am um, as well as that since she's come on board to start helping me with things um, Olfi are a British brand they do cool. action cameras that sort of thing and we've been doing some work with them and you know for a small British brand that's very very young they're absolutely fantastic and working with them it does give me some great insight into how Britain moves forward in terms of small businesses. So Brilliant. yeah, I'll give a shout out to them. Thank you yep. for you know taking the plunge, and uh, we'll see where that goes. Um, yeah, and one other, Mishimoto. Um, they're an aftermarket brand. I've used a lot of their parts on my MX-5. Their service and warranty and support is second to none. You know, with that car, yeah. I've had a lot of problems with it being a scrap vehicle. Um, but Michigan, they've been there to support me all the way. So, yeah, I've got to give a big thank you to those guys. Superb, top man. And finally, Alexander, if you were a biscuit, what biscuit would you be and why? Oh, oh that's the big question, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'd go with shortbread for that. Shortbread? Okay, I've, not had, I've not had that one yet. No one said yeah, that yet. It's classy. It's got good taste. Um, yeah. It goes very well with tea. And, you know, being a Yorkshire lad, I'd probably drink more tea than Guy Martin. <laughs> very very true good man yeah, Alexander I'm going to let you go I really appreciate your time today I really really believe I'll be seeing you sooner rather than later at the top of a hill so okay. do take care enjoy your sim racing for now and yeah keep going on that Mazda and we'll see you out trackside soon brilliant thank you thank you alright cut alright enjoy that that's yeah good. I enjoyed that I really enjoyed that actually that, that was top where about you from in Yorkshire um, I'm living in Sherman and Elmer. It's sort of halfway between Leeds and York. Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to live, my family's from Harrogate. Right, okay, so not far so away. So I, I visit, yeah, I used to live up in, I spent about eight years in Harrogate myself. My granddad stood in Leeds. So, yeah, yeah close. I'll have, next time I'm up, I'll give you a shout. Yeah, fantastic stuff.